be talking to you about SIADH that is syndrome of inappropriate secretion of ADH. Now the hallmark of this condition is hyponatremia that is serum sodium is less than 135 milliequivalent per liter normal serum sodium is between 135 to 145 milliequivalent per liter now before I proceed further let me clarify although the serum sodium concentration is less than normal but total amount of sodium in the body is normal total body sodium is normal but still the concentration is going down why and how for that let's learn the basic concept basics basics goes like this let's take an example I have a glass and it has 100 ml of water and it contain 100 milligram of salt 100 ml of water that means in this glass the concentration of salt is 1 milligram per ml obviously now if I add 100 ml water more the volume become 200 ml but stall, salt is still 100 milligram the concentration goes down to 0.5 milligram per ml point to be noted the concentration went down in this glass not due to salt problem due to excess of water so excess of water is causing this problem similarly in SIADH also problem occurs due to excess of water in the body so you can say in summary in nutshell you can say SIADH is same as excess water in the body or in the in the plasma or serum now how this happen again we talk about basic concepts so more basic for that we have a nephron and all of you are well aware that that ADH which come from the posterior pituitary it act on the DCT and the collecting tubule and it reabsorbs only water point to be noted ADH has no role in sodium or potassium or SH ion it simply absorbs water and this how it tend by this it tend to maintain normal plasma or small t between 280 to 300 so it only regulate water but in some diseases or some condition excess of ADH is secreted and as I give you example that glass was there in excess water going in and that lead to hyponatremia so excess of ADH come this excess of ADH will lead to more and more more water reabsorption and that lead to some expansion of plasma volume and that lead to hyponatremia so it will lead to hyponatremia so excess of water in the body leads to hyponatremia it's clear to you so now you are very clear about the basic fundamentals that is the excess water which causing all the problem 
So now what is the net result of this? The net result is number one reduce aldosterone level. Number two reduce renin level. Okay. And reduce serum sodium I told you and that lead to <clears throat> reduce plasma osmolality P for plasma reduce plasma osmolality but there is no hypertension why no hypertension because sodium is not increased and one classical question, no edema feet. These are very, for exam point of view, this is very, very important. Very, very important as far as the exam is concerned. After this also, this is the most important and frequently asked question. FAQ. This is the most frequently asked question. Edema fit is not the feature of SIADH. Now, what are the causes of SIADH? If you read the book, there are at least 50 causes. You don't need to read or remember all 50, but you should not forget these important causes. First is small cell lung cancer. Number two, subarachnoid hemorrhage. Small cell lung cancer, subarachnoid hemorrhage, meningitis. Hypothyroid. Christine these are the some of the important causes and after these five also these two are the most frequently asked question you don't have to forget these two causes now let's see what are the lab parameters you get in the uh, this case is lab parameters. It is increased. Why? Because most of the water has been reabsorbed, the urine become a little more concentrated. They are the lab findings. Right? So, now we talk about what are the symptoms but with patient will come to us so the main problem in this case is as we discuss low sodium symptom develop because of low sodium now symptom develop not only due to about the level of sodium but how fast hyponatremia occurs this also a main contributive factor for the symptoms so as far as the clinical features are concerned patient may be asymptomatic especially if it is developing very slowly but if it develops very fast then maybe even at remember if it is developing slowly even up to 127 128 patient may not have any symptom but if it develops very fast, the patient may develop symptom at 127, 128 also. What symptom? Fatigue. Then seizures. Confusion. Coma. And 
even death can occur. Okay? Now let's see how to screen this case. Screening test. Screening test is water loading test. How it is done? Patient is called in the morning and he is given, given water to drink 20 ml per kg body weight he is given water and he should drink in next 20 to 40 minutes okay now in a normal person after he finishes the after he finishes the water drinking more than 80 percent of the water intake is excreted uh, by urine in a normal person in the next four hours but if the urine volume is less than 80% of the water intake, then you suspect about SIADH. Now, this was a screening test. But what is the most accurate test or most confirmatory test? Is serum. ADH level. You check the level of ADH in the serum and if it is increased, if it is increased, this is the most confirmatory or the most accurate test. Now, treatment. If it is a mild case where the problem is only of asymptomatic or fatigue, then the the only treatment is restrict water intake. Restrict water intake. Okay. So as you know, we lose water 500 to 1000 ml per day via stool, via skin sweating or via, via talking. So even, even if you restrict water intake, automatically sodium level will go, okay? But in, suppose patient is having seizures, severe cases, you have to give 3% saline. That means you are giving hypertonic saline. But it should be given very, very slowly because if you give fast, it can lead to demyelination. In pons, the patient will develop quadriparesis. Okay, so it should be given very slowly. But in chronic cases, We can give we can give drug like demiclocycline or coniveptan. They antagonize they antagonize the action of ADH. Right? This is what we are going to treat a case of chronic cases. So, a quick recap of what we learned. SIADH is the problem of water excess, lead to hyponatremia. And in this case, urine osmolality and urine sodium is increased. Patient may have asymptomatic seizures or coma or death. Water loading test is the screening test 
and the most accurate test is ADH. Treatment coniveptan demeclocycline with restriction of fluid. In severe cases, we give 3% saline. Okay. Now onward, many, many people have asking for other materials. After every topic, we like to give multiple choice question on the topic what you read today. For that, you have to get registered as informed to you. So, you, we, will want, we want to make you more and more knowledgeable by giving more and more information. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much.